friends good morning today's topic is going to be peripheral neuropathy let us see why it comes for whom it comes how it affects you what is first a peripheral neuropathy when your nerves get affected then they are called as neuropathy if the nerves are affected in the periphery of the body that is your foot and hand then it is called peripheral neuropathy nervous system is divided into sensory nervous system motor nervous system and autonomic nerve what is sensory nervous system the sensory nervous system is a system that takes the impulses or the touch and feel sensations from hand and foot to the brain and you recognize it. what is a motor sensory system motor sensory system is nothing but locomotion or body movement is controlled by the motor nervous system next is the autonomic nervous system the autonomic nervous system controls the blood pressure mechanism and your bladder mechanism these are the two things which are mainly done by autonomic nervous system your heart rate regulation your sweat mechanism all these are regulated by your autonomic nervous system so now let us see when do you get peripheral neuropathy one of the common problems or common disease that leads to peripheral neuropathy is diabetes commonly the type 1 diabetes or the type 2 diabetes or your vitamin b12 deficiency or post viral infections you go and land up in what is called as sensory neuropathy or a peripheral neuropathy if you have diabetes then they call it diabetic neuropathy what happens you have burning or pricking sensation or altered sensation in the foot and in the hand what is the problem with this if you have a altered sensation in your feet you will not be able to hold your slippers when you are walking so this is one of the first symptoms what a diabetic patient feels then when you walk on the floor you don't feel the sensation of the floor so you tend to put more pressure thereby you develop what is called as ipk or intractable plantar keratosis this is the first damage that has. so what is sensory neuropathy and for whom it affects the commonest people affected with sensory neuropathy is diabetic neuropathy vitamin d deficiency vitamin b12 deficiency and post viral infections you get a inflammatory disease which leads to sensory neuropathy normally the sensation from the feet and hand are conducted to the brain by small fibers they are called as small fiber neuropathy so how can you rectify the problem or treat the problem first thing is supplementation with the required vitamins and you will have to take care of your nerve sheath damage with medicines and then rehabilitation and physiotherapy in my center i have an advanced treatment for diabetic neuropathy where we have equipments from us fda products which deals with recovery of your peripheral neuropathy and diabetic neuropathy hello friends if you like my videos and my topic please send it or forward it to your friends so that they can also get enriched with the idea and seek help